Welcome back. All right, so uh, some more trades to discuss today and a signing. Um, and one trade that has been announced, but I don't know what the return is yet, so not much to discuss there at this point. But Tyler Toffoli's member of the Winnipeg Jets. I'm wearing Jets because I, I like what they're doing here. 50% uh, of his contract retained by the New Jersey Devils. Uh, the New Jersey Devils also get a 2025 second round draft pick as well as a 2024 third round draft pick. So that's fine. Uh, I think Toffoli is a good addition for a Winnipeg team that at times this year has struggled with scoring. So Toffoli should help to, to ease any co scoring concerns and adds a top six forward. Uh, so we'll see how Toffoli fits in in Winnipeg. If he fits in really well, he could hit the 30-35 goal mark. Uh, and so, yeah, all the best to Toffoli in Winnipeg. I know there are Canuck fans that aren't happy about it, but hey, you know, I honestly think if Alvin doesn't do anything for the Canucks today, I think that's fine. Um, ben Myers is a member of the Anaheim Ducks, and one that's kind of a head-scratcher for me, Myers going to Anaheim in exchange for a draft pick going to Colorado. Uh, the Avs get back a 2024 fifth-round draft pick. So I'm, I'm just guessing that's uh, for, for the reasons of salary cap and whatnot. It's just weird to see a team like Anaheim adding at the deadline uh, for a draft pick. And, yeah, so we'll see if there's anything else with that, if, if that that's just one of those trades that, we just scratch our heads about for eternity. We'll see. Uh, Chad Ruedel's a member of the New York Rangers. Going the other way, Pittsburgh gets a 2027 fourth round draft pick. I did see comments uh, online about how the Rangers aren't doing anything. Yes, they are. They added Chad Ruedel. What more do you want? They got Ruedel. Nobody else got Ruedel, just the Rangers. Uh, Pat Maroon's off to the Bruins, so I'm sure him and Jack Edwards will have a nice discussion. Uh, going to Minnesota is a conditional 2026 sixth round draft pick. I'm guessing the condition is if Boston wins the cup, it upgrades. Uh, that seems to be the condition on most of these draft picks is if a team wins a cup or has playoff success, that draft pick gets better. Uh, Pat Maroon will fill in in the bottom six for the Boston Bruins. I think it's a solid addition. He had a really good run at the start of the year with Minnesota offensively, uh, but of course that wasn't going to be sustainable. Uh, his career is winding down. <clears throat> Going from Minnesota to Boston, it improves his chances at playing for a Stanley Cup, right? Uh, Kyle Alpozo, so the captain of the Buffalo Sabres. I actually found this kind of a surprise, to be honest, uh, that Alpozo is on the move because he's been in Buffalo for a while and he's really become a, a key part of that team's identity. But apparently he wanted to go to Florida and so the team did right by him. Going to Buffalo is a 7th round draft pick, although that becomes a 5th round draft pick should Florida win the Stanley Cup. So, I love this addition for Florida. I think that uh, Panther fans are going to be quite happy with what Opozo does for them in their, their bottom 6. I'm thinking 3rd line. Uh, he's had a good year in Buffalo. He's had a good last couple of years in Buffalo. He's obviously not the same player he was you know, almost a decade ago, but honestly, at this point in time, Florida doesn't need him to be that player just the, the leader that he is right now uh, with the veteran experience and whatnot. Uh, Malcolm Subban's been acquired by Columbus for future considerations, so a little bit of goaltending depth in the organization, which, again, isn't something that's going to hurt you. Uh, Subban's bounced around the league. This is, I, I want to say, the fifth or sixth organization he's been a part of. <clears throat> but, yeah, Subban joining the Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, I would think probably a backup for the Monsters, but, yeah, it's a minor league move. Uh, Jordan Eberle is staying in Seattle. It's a two-year extension worth $4.75 million per season for Jordan Eberle. And so he'll be staying in Seattle for at least the next little while here. And as mentioned before, Jason Zucker, he's on his way to Nashville. I haven't seen what the return is. Let me just do a quick look here and see if that return has shown up. Uh, nope. Nope. I haven't seen what it is, but both Pierre Lebrun and Elliot Friedman reporting that Zucker is off to Nashville from Arizona. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe in the event you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.